Hello everyone, I am Sujoy and this is my another exciting video on operation research. Today I will tell you how to solve a 5 cross 5 transportation problem by stepping stone method or SSM. So let's start the video. So first some basics. This is called tra transportation problem and the matrix is called a cost matrix where the individual cell values represent the transportation cost or unit transportation cost. And here we have 5 origins or 5 depot O1, O2, O3, O4 and O5 and we have 5 destinations D1, D2, D3, D4 and D5. The meaning of cell value that means if we transfer 1 unit of goods from origin 1 to destination D1 our cost of transportation is 12 units. But if we transport 1 unit of goods from origin 1 to destination D2 our cost of transportation reduces to 8. So what is our objective? Our objective is transportation problem is to allocate goods from 5 origins O1, O2, O3, O4 and O5 to 5 destinations D1, D2, D3, D4 and D5 in such a manner so that our total transportation cost is minimum. And next is allocation value. The allocation value denotes that we have allocated 3 units of goods at the cost of 8 per unit. So for this cell, the transportation cost will be 3 into 8 that is the allocation value into the transportation cost value. So if we transport 1 unit of goods from origin O1 to destination D2, our transportation cost will be 3 units into 8 that is 24 units. Next, this outside vertical values are called the supply values and these horizontal outside values are called the demand values. That means in origin O1, we have total supply of 6 units of goods. Similarly, say for origin O3, our total supply is of 4 units of goods. And for demands, this value 8 denotes that in destination D2, the total demand is of 8 units of goods. Similarly, for destination D4, the value 10 denotes that in destination D4, we have total demand of 10 units of goods. Remember, to be able to solve a transportation problem, the sum of all demand values should be equals to sum of all supply values. So here, sum of all demand is equals to 2 plus 8 plus 7 plus 10 plus 4 equals to 31 which is equals to sum of all supplies that is 6 plus 2 plus 4 plus 10 plus 9. So both the values are equal. So this is a balanced transportation problem. The question where the sum of all demands is not equal to sum of all supply is called an unbalanced transportation problem. In my previous video on stepping stone method, I told you how to solve an unbalanced transportation problem. And one thing to remember, for any row or any column, sum of all allocation values should be equal to the outside value. For example, for the row O1, the allocations are 3 plus 3, that's equal to 6, which is equal to the outside value. Similarly, let's say for column D4, the allocations are 2 plus 8, that is equal to 10 which is equal to the outside value for the T4. So these are the basic. Let's proceed to the question. Our question is the given transportation problem is the IBFS or the initial basic feasible solution obtained by VAM. VAM stands for Vogel's approximation method. This is one transportation problem solution method. By VAM, we can find out the transportation cost. In most of the cases, BAM gives us the optimal transportation problem, but remember, in some cases, even BAM can't give us the optimal transportation solution. For that, we have to use another optimization technique. So basically, there are two optimization techniques. First one is the MODI method, stands for Modified Distribution Method, and second one is the Stepping Stone Method or SSM. So I have five videos on MODI method. You can watch them to know how to find the optimal solution by MODI method. 
and today I will tell you how to find out the optimal solution by stepping stone method. So test it for optimality and find the optimal solution by stepping stone method or SSM for short. So let's proceed to the solution. First the definition. Stepping stone method is an optimization technique used to find the optimal transportation cost. In stepping stone method, we form loops for every unoccupied cell and evaluate them for optimality. Unoccupied cells are these cells where no allocation is done and these are the allocation cells or allocated cells where some allocation is done. Allocated cells are also called the basic cells and unoccupied cells are also called the non-basic cells. So in stepping stone method, we basically form loops for every unoccupied cells or non-basic cells and evaluate them for optimality. So now we will start the calculation. First we will find out the initial cost. Remember this transportation cost is the this transportation problem is the initial basic feasible solution or IBFS. So first we will calculate the initial cost which is given by allocation value into the transportation value for each cell. So for this cell it will be 3 into 8 plus 3 into 11 for this cell plus 2 into 8 for this cell plus 2 into 14 again plus 2 into 14 plus 2 into 14 again plus 8 into 17 plus 5 into 9 plus 4 into 11 so summing them all you will get 382 so this is our initial transportation cost now we will apply the stepping stone method and we will check whether we can decrease the total transportation cost by stepping stone method. Step number one, check for degeneracy. For degeneracy test, first you have to check the number of allocations. So here as in our case, the number of allocations are 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 allocations, which is equals to m plus n minus 1 where m is the number of rows we have 5 rows o1 to o5 and n is the number of columns again we have 5 columns d1 to d5 so m plus n is 10 minus 1 which is 9 so number of allocations is equal to number of m plus n minus 1 so it's a non-degenerate problem the problem where the number of allocations is not equal to m plus n minus 1, that problem is called a degenerate problem. In my previous stepping stone method video, I explained how to solve a degenerate problem by stepping stone method. You should watch that video to know more about that method. So this is the end of the part 1 of the video. I will continue the calculation in part 2 of this video. All the parts will be uploaded simultaneously on YouTube. If you want to watch the second part, link to that is given in the video description below. So check that out. So that's it for now. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, please like and share the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. By that, you will encourage me to make more quality videos in future. Your comments, likes and shares really encourage me to make more quality videos in future. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video and still then stay connected by subscribing.